Hi everyone, I have a plan with me video for you today. I'm using the XOXO personal kit from Scribble Prints Co. And since it is a personal kit, I decided to pull in some glitter quarter boxes and a limited edition glitter sampler also from Scribble Prints Co. I chose a bunch of washi tapes to use that match the colors this week. And the pens I'm using are the Le Pen permanent marker and the Papermate Ink Joy gel pen in 0.5 millimeters. So the first thing that I'm doing is putting down the washi tape. I'm speeding through this part really quickly because it does take a while. I decided on this kind of ombre red and yellow, red, yellow, orange washi from Michaels. And then I layered the washi that came with the kit on top of it. Since it was meant for the personal planner, I did have to trim it down a bit, but that's totally fine. And I just used the leftovers to create two flags to cover up the flags at the top of the planner because the colors didn't really match that well this week. And then I'm going to move on to my Halloween countdowns. Those are from Once More With Love. Moving on to the sidebar, the first thing that I did was put down a quarter box to mark the current week of the school quarter I'm in. And then at the top I put the XOXO full box. And it's a full box meant for the personal size or like for a personal planner. So it's a little bit shorter than what a normal Erin Condren sized full box would be. Sorry if you could hear my phone vibrating, I just put it on do not disturb mode, so I think we're good for now. Anyway, I'm using this black and white striped washi from Scotch Brand, I got it at Target. And then I put the weekly ombre underneath, it's so mini and cute because it's for the personal kit. But I got this idea of waiting to rip the washi until after I put the full box down from Stick With Me Shop. Then I'm using another washi tape to kind of separate out the habit tracker that I'm about to put down. And now that I'm taking a while to do the sidebar, I guess I'll start talking about the Mandy Plants birthday series. So I decided that I'm going to do a video every other day until my birthday, which is November 28th. And that's super exciting. I have a bunch of videos planned. They're mostly hauls and plan with me's, but I still think that it'll be really fun. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. This video will be the first one in this series. So for the last part of my sidebar, I'm just putting down a full box from Have a Parade and then a mail sticker from Oh So Fawn. And I'm going to move on to the actual week. Oh, I put down a phone sticker from Planner-esque, but I accidentally put it down upside down because that's what stress does to you. So it's okay. It's still, I still know that it's a phone. I just didn't realize that I put it upside down until I Instagrammed my picture and I was looking at it. I was like, that phone looks a little bit funny. Now I'm just filling in my happy mail and then I'm going to put down two sets of glitter headers. They are both from the Scribble Prints Co. Halloween Limited Edition kit. I wanted to use a third color, but I didn't really have one that matched. Well, I probably did for my Scribble Prints Co. glitter headers, but I was too lazy to pull them out. So I just used two and it worked out just fine. And then I'm also going to put down all of my classes for the week. So this week I decided to use a Running to Class Terra from Pumpkin Paper Co which is seriously the story of my life. And then those lecture stickers are the ones that I made for myself. They are also available in my shop, but my shop is currently closed. I just closed it to catch up on school and work on restocking new releases and a couple projects that I have. So hopefully we can reopen soon and get back to business. The X-Acto knife that I'm using to kind of help me peel up stickers and cut stickers is from Slice Brand. I got it on Amazon and you can also get it at Michael's. Moving on to Monday, the first thing that I put down was a pumpkin spice latte munchkin from Once More With Love to mark Coffee Monday. Then I took a heart checklist and a trash icon that came in the personal kit to write down a few things that I had to do. I also had to buy some shirts, so I put a little reminder there. There was a bit of white space between the shirts and the lecture stickers, and I didn't really have anything to put there, so I just put some deco, and it fit perfectly. After class, I had to edit and then I took a nap. So I used some washi and a sleeping sticker from Once More With Love. At the end of the day, I ordered some Uber Eats. So I used an event sticker to mark that. On Tuesday, it was payday. So I'm using that payday sticker from Sincerely Kawaii. Then I put down a full box after my lecture. Then I put down another coffee munchkin from Once More With Love, but I switched it out because I used that same one on Monday to mark that I went to Starbucks. And then I put down a little things upside down with a meal icon on top because I went to Chipotle. 
Then in the evening, I had to study. So I put some washi down and I put the full box, I mean the half box on top of it with a study sticker that I made for myself as well as a Little Miss Papery glittery laptop, which are my favorites. So now that I've been planning for a while, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my planning style for those of you who are new to my channel. So I plan every day, either the morning of or the night before. I lay down my plans from morning to night and if I don't have something planned out for the day or I'm not sure what I'm doing, then I'll go ahead and fill it in after the fact. But for the most part, I do most of my planning before the day starts. That's why I also film every day, so then at the end of the week, I compile all of the footage and create my plan with me. Moving back to the plan with me, the first thing that I put down for Wednesday was a canceled sticker. Well, actually, I put some deco down first, but then I put a canceled sticker and I did that same washi tape and half box thing as I did on Tuesday. Then I put another strip of washi down and an I can't even handle life sticker from Creative Keo because that was how I was feeling that day and that week. So then I put down a washi strip and I just cut it in a flag so I could mark out a chunk of time where I needed to do homework. And then at the end of the day, I had to bring my little some bubble tea. So I put that on a quarter box. And it did cover up the flag that I made, which I was kind of sad about, but I didn't really want to recut it, so I just left it. On Thursday, I put down a planner and money sticker over a flag with a Little Miss Papery sticker because my mystery box was renewing. Then I put down a full box and an I Need a Break sticker from Sweet Kawaii Design. After that, I put down two birthday stickers from Chrissy and Designs because I had two birthdays that day and I really like putting it at the top where the date is because it fits perfectly in that section. And then I also wanted to get coffee that day so I used a coffee sticker from the Planner Junkie. I used a mini flag before my lecture at the top there because I wanted to remind myself that I had homework due. And then same thing in the evening, I put a little flag for my homework assignment that was due and that homework sticker is from Soda Pop Studio. In the evening, we went out because we had two birthdays that day, and one of them was my friend's 21st birthday. He's actually a brother, so yeah, it was his 21st birthday, so of course we had to celebrate, and I was so happy that I finished my homework like before midnight so I could go out. But I left that part blank because there were these stickers that I just got from Paper and Milk, like drinking stickers that I wanted to use, but I ended up not using it because I didn't get a chance to haul it that week. But you'll probably see it in an upcoming haul soon. On Friday, I put down a triple heart checklist that came with the kit because I had a few things that I needed to do. And then that trash icon is from Sweet Kawaii Design. I put down a work header with a quarter box underneath because I needed to film some videos, although that didn't end up happening. But anyway, I put down a washi strip to kind of separate out that section or to fill in that section and then another one below it. This is a black glitter washi tape from Scotch Brand. I actually love Scotch glitter washi. It's like such nice quality and the glitter doesn't, uh, what's that word? It doesn't, there's no fallout on it. Then I put down a flag and a silhouette sticker on top of it from the Coffee Monsters Co. because I wanted to cut some stickers. I used a tea time sticker from Kina Prince. I also put down a little thing with a car icon because I did order some food that night for dinner. Moving on to the weekend, I did put down the weekend banner down first, but I had some trouble with it because the sizing was a little bit weird. But the weekend was really exciting because Josh came to visit me. The first thing that I put down though was a today header with some print and cut stickers that I made for myself. I also put a coffee munchkin and a silhouette sticker. And then I put a quarter box to mark that Josh came over and I used this couple sticker from Kina Prince, which is one of my all time favorites. It's so cute. We went to get sushi. So I used a sushi sticker from Sincerely Kawaii. And after that, we got some boba. So I layered a boba sticker from Sweet Kawaii Design on top of a flag. We also went to Michael's and we went grocery shopping. So I used a Michael sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. I said Michael's really weird. And then I used a grocery bag from Sweet Kawaii Design, which is hands down my favorite grocery sticker of all time. After that, we took a nap, so I layered some washi strips. Well, I stacked some washi strips together and used a nap sticker from Once More With Love. The Lush sticker that I just put down is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And the Silverware sticker is from Stickers Washi and More. 
On Sunday, I had breakfast with Josh. He went out and got some and he also made me coffee. So I used the coffee munchkin with the two pumpkin spice lattes because it's really cute. And then I put down a quarter box. Well, it's like a washi strip and then a sad munchkin because he left on Sunday. I used a scalloped quarter box from Christian Designs to mark that I restock the shop. And then I did the same full box and study thing as I did earlier in the week. I'm using some washi tape now to mark out a chunk of time because we had GBM that evening and I'm just kind of trying to get them straight. And of course, I always have trouble ripping the washi tape. Then I used a quarter box with a DSP sticker that I made for myself. And then at the end of the day, I didn't really have much going on, so I just put some deco. I put down a balloon sticker with the wine glasses sticker on Thursday, even though we weren't having wine and drinking champagne and clinking glasses, but you know, I didn't really have any other drinking stickers, so. I just moved all of my planner pages over to the left so that I could write on Sunday more easily. And that is about it for this week's spread. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Let me show you what stickers that I have left. I actually had a significant number of stickers left considering that I used a personal kit this week. So I really liked it. I think that I'll do it again in the future. Thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you enjoy the birthday series this month and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye.